Oh, yeah. Look at that one. <laughs> look at that one, dude. Yeah, look, look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Is it the one? Look at them. Is it the one? Gotta be six, right? Yeah. And change. Oh, open up. Oh, I saw that guy bite. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yes! Yes! Haha, <laughs> dirty 30, baby! We did it. We did it! Yo, hey guys, Smallmouth Crush, here we are. Yo, hey guys, Smallmouth Crush, it's gonna be an awesome day. You know why? Because, no idea. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Yo, it's Smallmouth Crush, here we are, Lake Ontario for the special Canada, Canadian. <laughs> Take two. Take three. Take three. Bugs, there's a bug, bug hatch going on. Yo, it's Smallmouth Crush. Here we are, Lake Ontario, taking advantage of the special Canadian early season opener. We got Epic Eric in the background lurking around like always. We're going to head out to the lake and try to catch some big smallmouth. We're going to bring you along you. on the journey that's all coming up. Nice. Good one. Check it out. Super calm. Wish we had a little sun, but we don't. We got some bluebills, canvas backs, and redheads just chilling. Temperature about, I would say, low 50s right now, so it's not too bad. But look at that. Glass calm. A lot of course, we're in the U.S. side right now. We're going to have to make a little bit of run over to Canadian waters to fish legally. Well, today is going to be one of the most amazing days on the water. Definitely top 10 for me. Eric and I just wrecked them out there. A lot of fish, shallow. We looked deep. We looked we looked in a lot of different areas, but they were really grouped up. And it's one of those deals where if you can find where they're grouped up this time of year, you can normally catch quite a few fish. And that's exactly what we did. We're going to head on out and show you a few fish catches and a couple sneaky little baits that we used to catch these fish with. Nice. Well, we found some fish. Eric hooks up with the first one. Oh, look at oh, that one. Cover that, man. Dude. What? Big you got a stud, bro. Dude, that is a big small <laughs> Look at all these. Look at all his friends with him. Holy crap. Who knows what's up? Who knows what's up? That's a big one. There he is. Oh, I missed him. What happened? Look at all his friends. Here he comes. Him. Got him. Oh, that's oh, a stud. That's a double. He's got double studlies. Dude, that's crazy. All right. Whoa. We found him. It didn't take long. These aren't giants. It's just fun. Okay, well, it's been a while since I caught a smallie, <laughs> so it felt like a, like a g g g giant. But it's a daily double. Wow. We'll take these all day long. All day long, are you kidding me? Actually, they're not bad. I mean, mine's I, a four. I mean, oh, nice. What the heck? <laughs> take a seat, Eric. I gotta talk about this bait. That's what I do. It's a little sneaky deal. Caught a nice one on it. So that sneaky little bait is a bait I actually designed for Great Lakes Finesse. It's called the Drop Minnow. And that's it, 2.75 inches. It's a very small bait. You can fish this bait a lot of different ways. I started out swimming it on an underspin. And the underspin I used, I didn't, I didn't have an underspin that had the right size hook for this small bait. And so I just used a jig head with the right hook. I think it was a 3 16th, could be an eighth. I, I don't remember actually, but I had one of those underspins that had that plastic keeper that you slide onto any jig head and it worked. It wasn't the greatest. It, it did get tangled up a few times, but actually the owner of, of Great Lakes Finesse uh, talked to me about this uh, technique. They, wet, they had a really good day on this uh, drop minnow throwing it on, on an underspin. So here's the deal. There's not like a boot tail on this or anything like that. So I thought, man, an underspin, really? Just swimming this through the water column? Okay, I'll give it a try. And so I, I rigged one up and obviously I was very impressed with it. And it's it's got my head thinking. I got a lot of applications. Not just 
for dropping down on suspended fish or drop shotting. You'll see later in this video, we used the color Crushed Shad and we started fishing this on a Ned rig and it was unbelievable. Now, Eric was using a few other Great Lakes Finesse products. So he used the Snack Craw, we used the Flat Cat. I wanted to kind of experiment, but all of the big fish, well, the, the, the five biggest in our bag came off of the drop minnow and you'll actually see that in the video but this thing looks amazing swimming horizontally through the water column that um man i'm i'm really i'm impressed i'm excited and i can't wait to wreck them on these baits we got a lot of great colors in the description there's going to be a discount as well uh so if you want to pick some of these up i'll, I'll give you a link to that but you really should give all their baits a try in the great lakes uh, finesse lineup. Hey, cheers. They're like twins. Start. Double. It was a double for a start. All right, let's let them go. All right. Stay free. That was cool. They had a lot of fish with them. Yeah, there's a ton. There's a here. ton in here, dude. Look at that big one with him. Oh, wow. Holy shit. They're Look at cool. them all. Oh, my God. Look at that one following. Oh, my Come God. Come on, hit it. Oh, my I'm God. Hit it. Yes. <laughs> Damn, dude. I got the assist. The <laughs> big double. <laughs> this is nuts. It's, these are big fish, These are man. big fish, dude. Wow. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Control Bro. your fish. Bro, what happened? I don't know. What are you doing back here? <laughs> Take a seat. Come on. Throw that fish. So guys, I'm actually throwing this on that St. Croix Victory, the crosshair rod, <laughs> which is a great hair jig rod, but it's also good for throwing those little small finesse swim baits. Look at the tail on that fish. Look at this guy here, dude. Whoa. Look at this gigantic. Great now. Look at this one, bro. Look at this one. You mean the one I brought in? Look at the big one. <laughs> That's a six. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. It's oh. What happened? The grub got in. Oh, man. Look at that guy. Oh. 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 Wow. Oh, man. What My spinner fell off. Oh, no. Huh. Stud. All right. This one comes in at... 514. Yeah. We're going to try to get 30 pounds today. Uh, that one. Oh, God, that one hit on the drop. A long cast. I'm going to see if you can get me one. Wow. Do you have any friends with him? Let's see. Put that on the drop, didn't you? Dude, I'm going to need some more of these. Yeah. Nice. He's not the biggest, but we haven't even picked up the power poles yet. I blind casted where he said they were going, and I done caught it. Nice tail walk, dude. That was beautiful. God, he's short and fat, man. Look at that. Holy moly, this thing's got some. Oh, there's a big one coming. It's got some girth. I... It's good, man. Let's go see it. There was another one too. Oh, that's a giant. different fish. Dude. That's a good one. That's a different fish. They don't look that big. No, they don't. Man. Get him. That's a, that's a, that's gonna help. You think it's gonna help the cause here? <laughs> what do you think he weighs? Nice. Ooh, that's a nice one. Great Lakes finesse snack crawl. Couldn't resist. Man, what a crazy little fiasco! It's crazy. These are some good fish here. Dang right, they are. Dang. Six pounds, eight ounces. 
Look at this one. They're both you. Oh, look at this stuff. Look at this one. Come on, come here. Look at this. Get him in. Dang. <laughs> 5, 5 15. Mark it. 5 15. Got him? Yep. Yeah. Keep him hooked up, man. So it was time to make a move. We decided to take a look at a bunch of other areas. There's so much water up here. And a lot of areas hold good fish. But I was coming off a plane here, coming down. Looked to my right, saw a giant sitting on a rock. I want him. Did I get him? Where's he at? That was a big one. Alright guys, we found a good one. As, as you can see, we came off plane and I found one. We're gonna we're gonna circle back and see if Eric can catch it. Actually ended up getting that big fish to bite, but we couldn't get him. Oh, that's a and big I one. lost him on the hook set. <laughs> and he wouldn't bite again. But it was one of the biggest smallmouth I've seen in a long time. Oh, got him, Travis. Double, daily double. Look at these studs, dude. What the oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, these are big fish. Well, we decided to go up shallow again. And we're rewarded for our Some effort. fish have an attitude today. This is another six pounder. Look at that stud right there. I know, he's giant. I gotta get him. This is a big one too, though. Oh my God, yes. Oh, you're down there. No, I gotta get him, look at him. Oh! oh! Yes! Drop minnow on a Ned. And a drop minnow on a drop shot. Jeez. Wow. Dang, bro. Another daily double. Excuse me while I get mine in. <laughs> Sorry. We were in about 10 to 12 feet of water right here. There was a nice group of fish, obviously. They're not that little. No, they're not. They're not that little, man.
through tournaments, you take that. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean? Four pounder, dude. They like this thing, dude. I know, right? I know. It's That's nice. kind of a cool feeling. See him nose down to and everything. Let's see, what is he exactly? Because we're close to the 30 pound mark. We had one on. I had him on for a second. Nice, 5'5. Five, five. Really? Oh, yeah. He thumped it. Coming at me. Strong. I don't know. You can never tell. Now he's fighting. That's a big one. Get that fish in the boat. Yes, that's a big one. <laughs> oh, oh, I got a tub a too. too. We got two tubs on. All right, he's under the boat. He's not as big as I thought. All right. Yeah. Mine is. Yeah, is it? <laughs> All right. Mine's a five. Oh, he's a five. I'm sure I'm winning. I guess mine might be five. If I ever get him in. Yes, yeah, that's, that's gotta be close to five. Four and three quarters. Oh, I'm struggling. <sighs> I'll see what he goes. Okay. Four pounds, 15 ounces. Oh, he's close, one ounce. How dumb are these fish, right? God. <laughs> you got him fired up. Tiny fella. It's getting too easy. All you gotta do is just Cast catch down. one. Make a cast with the drop minnow. And get him fired up. Let it fall for a split second and set the hook. <laughs> I have a bite. Yeah, I Why are you fishing my group? <laughs> I guess you're I want you to there. I want you to get them fired up. See that's what you do. You fire them up and then they're looking for the meal that that guy stole. That's the technique. I think you cast over my side once. I would never cast to your fish. This is my whole school of fish. You didn't want to come back here. Oh, I own it all at this point. You listen to me, Captain. Just getting too easy. Real simple, make a long cast with the drop minnow. I'm using a Ned rig, I'm using a 1 tenth size Ned. I'm using a St. Croix Legend Extreme medium light, five pound Cortland Master Braid, and just real small shakes, sometimes just dead stick. Not a lot of movement, as usual. Sometimes just pull it. I can feel it bumping the, the bottom here. You're just waiting for that bite. Double for the day. 
Winner. Colossians. Open your mouth, man. You ain't giving up, man. Open your mouth. Forced entry. I'm going to try. I'm going to throw that back on the underspin, make a couple casts with that underspin. Good again. idea. Long cast, rod tip down, and just retrieve that through the water column. And hold on. And wait for a bite. You got to be around the fish, obviously. What are you doing fishing my fish, man? I thought you fished that area. There he is. Another four. It sucks because we're so close to the 30 pound mark today. I know, right? We we have 28 and a half right now. We need one more. We're kind of fighting for that 20 not, or 30 What's pound mark. What's our smallest? Five and ten. Well, we probably need two at six. Two at six. Yeah. You just ate. I saw it. I saw him eat it. So Eric, you got a nice one there. I got a nice one. Let's put him on the scale. Drop minnow. Crush is the color of that one. Oh, I gotta reset it. I'll do it. You don't have to do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. 29? 29 pounds, 6 ounces. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. We gotta get rid of one more. Let's go. That's a nice That's one. That's a there. nice one, man. Wow. Oh. Got him. Bro, yeah. he might make it. He might make the cut. I think we'll we're gonna out. have to scale him up. He's solid, dude. Yeah. What's our smallest right now? Um, all right, our smallest is five pounds, five ounces. Let's see. Come on, be the one. Be the one. Five. Five six. Five five. He ties. It's five five, bro. He ties. This could be it. Okay. It's decent. No, I don't think he did. That's a good one. It's a good one, but I just don't think he has the dirt. I'm gonna probably go live here. That's unbelievable. It's crazy, guys. We're still here. We're not obviously hitting save on every fish catch, but oh, it's ridiculous. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Yo. 
y'all are wondering why I'm sitting down for every fish land is because I got the bad knee. Three knee operations, so. Cannot do what Travis just did. I am, I am. Take that. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. So if you guys are just tuning in, we need uh, one more six to get to 30. We're at 2963. Is. is that the one? <laughs> dude, they're all freaking five, four and a half, five pounders. It's crazy, dude. It what is. a group of fish it is. It's unbelievable. Stud. All right, where they at? I don't know. How about way out there? Think I could get one there? Yep. Did you lose your bait or something? You haven't had a bite in a while. Oh, look at that. But I think we've worn out our welcome here, man. I don't know. We That's said crazy. that a half hour ago. I know, dude. It's crazy. How are they still biting? I don't even know. My leader is so jacked up right now. Like, I see this fish coming right now. There he is. <laughs> Good suspense. There he is. Come on. He's got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, at that one. Look at that one, dude. Is it a good one? Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a good one. This is a good one. Is it the one? Yeah, look at him, look at him, look is at him. Is it the look one? At him, look at him. Is it the one? You've announced this you how many times? tell me, times? Eric, look at him. Tell me. God, it's close. I don't know. He's gotta be six, right? Yeah. And change. Smallest. Open up. Oh, I saw that guy bite. <laughs> Come on. Yes! Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Dirty 30, baby! We did it. We did it! Six pounds. Mark Two it. ounces. Woo! Six, two. 30. We did it, guys. On we the did it. Great Lakes. On Finesse. live. Drop minnow. We did it right there. <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's sweet, guys. Honest to God, we just did it. We caught 30 pounds. On fish. camera, with Travis's new bait, all mm -hmm. on the scale. That's a stud there. Wow. I'm gonna make one more cast way out this way. Oh, they are that way. Yep. Well, I'm gonna cast this way. Dude, my leader is so twisted up right now. Yeah. There, you officially have your own uh, GPS waypoint named after you. Do I really? Epic Eric. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. You did the work. Pal. 
we're gonna call it a day guys it was incredible 30 pound bag on the drop minnow by Great Lakes whoa, whoa, whoa. Finesse. Whoa! <laughs> oh man. Who gets their fish in first? Me. Travis, maybe. Travis. Ah, I got it. There. Look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh. What are you doing sneaking a tube in there, bro? Bro, I had to get the. This is the new Bass Lab approved color, man. Oh, nice. We get bit baits. <laughs> Woo! Can we uh, just do a quick little uh, video? Epic day. Little video on hey, my Hey guys, phone. don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave any likes and comments. Let us, let us know what you thought of today's video. Get yourself some Great Lakes Finesse. The Drop Minnow, all their products are amazing. This is the deal for sure. We caught 90% of our fish today. On that. And we and in the description, I'm going to put a discount code for you guys. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water. Boom. We're supposed to go, but we did, but we can't go. We can't leave. We can't leave. We just keep, we keep, we keep casting. It's actually it's six o'clock p.m. He's in the line. He's in the wire. Uh oh. Now what? You're good. Oh my god. We just can't leave. We said we were gonna leave, but we Whoa. can't leave. Uh, now we're catching Whoa. giants. Holy. If he can land two fish at once, he is the master of the gas. I'll hold your rod. I, I want got you to do it double fisted. No, no, double fisted. I got him. No, I want you. I'm gonna hold the rod. I don't need the rod. Hold, I can do it what by the same do? time. How are you gonna do it? Just get me up. All right. One hand, you weirdo. You really can? Yeah. How do you do that? Just like this. I've never seen this happen. Well, I need to video that. Oh, there we that go. That is a first for me. <laughs> Travis, let me see that. My man Travis, that's why they call him Small Mouth Crush. He landed both those bass. We With both hooked hand. up. It's another double. And he landed both at the same time. That's well, right. Well, one after the other. That's right. S still pretty extraordinary. Yeah. yeah. He's got big paws, man. That's uh -oh. why they call him Small Mouth Crush. They're backwards. Grab that fish. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. I'm still under you. That's a bigger one. Oh, my God. Oh. Uh, seconds later. Wow. Crazy town, man. Okay. <laughs> I'm worn out. Guys, we're supposed to fish with Hank Parker tomorrow up tomorrow? on the St. Lawrence. Tomorrow? I think so. Just another four. Should take him here. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, man. Daily double. Got him. This is a big one. This is a big one. This is a big one. It's big. It's big. Look at him. We can't leave biting fish. Okay, well, uh, dude. Don't leave biting fish to go home. That's the number one rule. We cannot stay here till dark. Well, I, I don't know what to tell you. Then they better stop biting. I ain't leaving. I'm going to shake them off. <laughs> if you want to go, we can go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go either. I don't want to go. Okay. That's a pig. Yep. I do gotta get off the water. What? You have to get off the water? Yeah, I do. Why? I got work call to make. At what time? Like I'm late. Oh, you're late for You're gonna be late for a while. The good one. Oh man, come on. Dude, come on, get that fish in yes. the boat. <sighs> Woo! Another good one. Unreal, dude. Oh, yeah. Did you see him? Did you see that one? You always say that. Yeah, well, look at that one. 
I don't even know. Look at him, look at him, look at him. It's about the size of what I just got. What are you <laughs> doing? Real anymore. Huh? We're to hook that now. They're in the uh I gotta get this one in now. I guess there is some fish over there. Holy moly. Daily double. <laughs> Whoa. That that my Whoa. friend. That's a big this one. Is oh a yes. Yeah, yeah, that's a good that's, one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's why we stay. That's why we stay. That's a good one. Hey, you almost toasted with my fish. That was a run. Did you guys hear the drag on the reel? I'll take him. One of the most incredible days of fishing of my entire life. Unbelievable. That's a big one. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Huh? There's uh -huh. two big ones uh -huh. in a row. Yeah. Yeah. Back to back piglets, bro. Whew. Leave when they stop biting. They won't stop biting. Well. Dude, that's a good one to end on for me. All right. I gotta get one. You my gotta last. get one, man. I gotta get my last fish. Dude. Okay. Wow. I'm gonna take this last picture of the fish for the day for me. When your last fish of the day is, I don't even know. It doesn't matter. Travis, this is it for me, man. I'm sitting down and getting something to eat. I gotta have something to eat. You do what you need. I, I don't do. even know what to say. What do you think he weighed? Let's see. He's five. Oh, he's more than five. Well, I'm just saying he's definitely five. I'm not going to say five pounds, six ounces. I'm going to say. Oh, you say what you want, but I got to catch my last fish on, in the end of the day. Get it together over there. Mm. Oh, you had to weigh him. Five, nine. Five, nine. Got him. There's my last fish of the day. Whew. It's getting nicer out though. The rain's still stopping. We can stay a little longer. Are you trying to talk me to stand? You didn't want to take a picture of a five and a half pounder? I, I've already got pictures. I just wanted to get the fish back in the water. Uh oh, you're in trouble now. No problem for him. You don't tell me when I'm in trouble. Why are they eating these little baits? It's time to go. Yes. Time to go. <laughs> I'm not casting. I'm not casting. Are you? I am. Well, no, come on, man. One more cast. Oh, my God. oh, man. We can go whenever now. So okay. it's your call. Okay. We got to go. All right. Let's pack up. We got to go. Let's pack up. Let's pack up. Let's leave biting fish. We got to go. We got to go. What time is it now? Probably seven. We gotta go. Why? Cause all of a sudden. No, I want to eat dinner. We'll get dinner somewhere. We gotta get a good hotel, and that ain't here. We are not driving it in any. We're gonna drive somewhere. I don't want to drive in the morning. I'm off. We'll, 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 Why can't we eat first? Then whatever you want. <laughs> After I make this last cast. Okay. That's the that's the cast. Me too. Boy, the last cast. I don't like that angle. What do you mean? I fished this angle a hundred times. Already. Where are you, where are you going to go? Oh. What do you want to do instead of that angle? I fished that That's angle a hundred times. Huh? We fished all the angles a hundred times. Yeah. Where are you? I'm looking at your angle. I had to set, dude. That's a giant. <laughs> oh, he's off. Oh no! I don't care if I catch one or not. I'm not right, taking any either. more casts. Where are you going? Right there. Where? This is the end, guys. No matter what happens. No matter what. All right. That's it. That's it. Last cast. Oh, now we're making another last one cast? One more. Let's go back here where right. we know there are fish. This is it. No matter what. Absolutely, positively, right there. 
Where'd you go? I'm fine with that cast. Where'd you go? I'm just right out here. Okay. Okay. This is the last cast. No matter what happens. There. <laughs> promises, promises. I'm fine with that. <sighs> okay, that was the last cast. I just had one on. Well. Got him. You got him. Oh. It's another tubber. Not bad. Oh, we oh, almost hit the what you call it, the power pole. <laughs> did you sneak in a spinnerbait cast? I did. That's pretty tricky, man. I snuck in a spinnerbait. That's a party foul. I'll take it. That's it, brother. All right. Absolutely, positively done. And until next time, see you guys on the water. Woo! We'll be back tomorrow. Holy moly. Hello, it's Smallmouth Crush. I want to let you know about a company I'm really excited about, Great Lakes Finesse. Whether it be highly pressured waters, clear bodies of water, doesn't matter if it's smallmouth, largemouth, spotted bass, they have a great lineup of sneaky finesse baits, whether it be the snack craw, the drop worm, or this flat cat. What the heck is a flat cat? Hey, you guys know I love finesse fishing and catching giant smallmouth. So it was a natural fit when Great Lakes Finesse approached me to design a smallmouth crush approved bait. And this bait particular, the drop minnow, it's 2.75 inches. It has some amazing action. Whether you're net rigging it, you're using a drop shot, or a technique I call hanging a minnow, Demiki rigging. Anytime you're fishing for suspended fish with a jig head, Pair these two together, you're going to be able to catch those fish. It's an amazing technique. So the drop minnow comes in a variety of different colors. Of course, we got some meltdown or your chartreuse. We have a lot of natural colors as well. We have your whites, your smoke purples, your green pumpkin, green pumpkin purple. Whatever the case may be, I think we really hit a home run when it comes to the colors that are available with this bait. So I really feel like this bait is perfectly streamlined. It's very compact. In fact, I'm sure we're playing some underwater video. You can just see the action of this bait when it's actually in the underwater environment. So, hey, Great Lakes Finesse not only makes some great soft plastics, they do have some terminal tackle as well available. Head on over to greatlakesfinesse.com. Use my code SMALLMOUTHCRUSH15, and you're going to save 15% off your order over at greatlakesfinesse.com. And as always, we'll see you on the water with Great Lakes Finesse.